Welcome to Life Journey. I'm your host, Theophilus McPherson, and I want to thank those that have subscribed to my, my channel, but I'm still trusting in the Lord for one million subscribers before the month of June so I can travel, so I can plant churches in the cities. Glory to God. Today's message is why sin is not preached. Hey, glory to God. Why sin is not preached. And glory to God, God's people are malnutrition. Hey, glory to God. Why sin is not preached and why God's people is malnutrition. Hey, glory to God. And the number one reason, my friend, as we go into, into uh, Ezekiel, the 34th chapter, verses 4 and 5, and the Bible say, The disease have not strengthened, neither have ye healed that which was sick. Neither have he bound up that which was broken. Neither have he brought again that was driven away. Neither have he brought again that was driven away. Neither have he sought that was not which is lost, but with force and with cruelty. He glory to God with force and with cruelty. God said with force and with cruelty. He glory to God. He have rule over them. Verse 5 and say, and they were scattered because there is no shepherd, and they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. And the reason why God have, have, have gave me this message to tell people, glory to God, that the shepherd does to take care of themselves. They are shepherd and they own feeding themselves. God say that you have not strengthened. You have not healed because, because you're not preaching the word of God. You are preaching prosperity for yourself and for your family while the, while the sheep are dying. And God said, I'm going to visit you, shepherd, pastor, bishop, and, and apostles. God said, I'm going to visit you. And glory to God. Why sin is not preached in our churches. But we become maltrition. Yes, why sin is not preached in our churches and we become malnutrition. And the reason why, my friend, he go to now this is 10S. 10S. And the reason why I use S, glory to God. The reason why I use S, because I want you to sink in your spirit. I want you to not to get glory to God the words, but I want to get the word of God in your spirit. Because God said, I sent forth my word and heal them. So the reason why I use S, because S was soaked down in your spirit. And let me go through the S's before. Sin, silent, simple, sacrifice, savior, glory, sight, hey, glory to God, summons, and see, hey, glory to God, and hallelujah, and sheep, hey, glory to God, and sleeping, and separated, and saturated, hey, glory to God. <coughs> Number one, sin does not exist because we all are sinners, so it's not important. Hey, glory to God. Now what you say? You say the sin does not exist because we are all sinners, so it's not. Yes, it is. It is important because God can heal your sin. My friend, the Bible said, I will, I will put you away your sin and your sin will not be remembered. God say. He's faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So sin is important. Sin need to be preached across the sacred death. Hey, glory to God. Number second reason why sin is not preached in our churches behind the sacred death is because it is silent. Because we are not to judge, said Matthew, the seventh chapter. Now what you say, we are not to judge? But the Bible say in 1 Corinthians 2nd chapter verse 15, and it say that, Lord to God, he that is spiritual judge all things and judge by no man. So you can't be living like the sheep. Hey, Lord, because you are a shepherd. You want to take care of the sheep. So you can't be going to the bar. You can't be going to the strip club. You can't be going to the to the dances and dancing with the sheep because you are separated from the sheep. Hey, glory to God. 
Amen. Amen. So we are different. We are supposed to be different. We are supposed to be, we are supposed to be a role model. Paul say, follow me as I follow Christ. Paul say, follow, I'm your example, so follow me as I follow Christ. Hey, glory to God. You can't follow a pastor that's pimping girls. You can't follow a pastor that's sexing the sheep. Hey, glory to God. And the third thing, we are simple-minded. If we are preaching, it's so it's okay to sin. Just ask God forgiveness. No, my friend, we don't sin. We don't. We don't say let grace be abound. The Bible says, "For God, for God forbid." How shall we live any longer therein? We should not be sinning, so grace may abound. No, my friend, the Bible says, "God forbid." So don't sin and ask God for forgiveness. Stay away from sin. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. And the fourth thing, my friend, we can always sacrifice animal, but it's a lie. Our body is our sacrifice for God to live in. He said, I, I urge you, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body. God wants your body. God don't want your money. God wants your body as a living sacrifice, holy Unto God, which is a reasonable servant, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. So God wants your body. God don't want your money. God don't want your car, your housing. God wants a body to live in. If not, Satan will live in your body. Hey, glory to God. I'm here to help you. I'm here to tell you, glory to God, that God loves you. Hey, go to God. Even though I'm preaching, I'm preaching on sin because he's living in sin himself. He getting drunk, he's smoking weed, and he's chasing women. Hey, go to God. But he said, don't talk about my pastor. If the pastor was not, was not living according to the stand of God, I would be preaching on him. But he preaching. I'm preaching on him because he's living in sin. Hey, go to God. Hallelujah. And next thing. My friend, glory to God. Number fifth reason, we don't see the Savior, but we see prosperity and supplies of blessing in the sight of us living in sin. We don't see, we don't see the Savior. The only thing we see is bling blings. The only thing we see is cars and houses and castles and clothes and jewelry. That's the only thing we see. We need to see the Savior. He said, look unto him which come our help. Our help don't come from me. Our help don't come from man. Our help don't come from machine, and our help don't come from money. Our help come from the Lord. Hey, glory to God. So we look at, glory to God, we don't see the Savior, but we see the prosperity, we, we see supplies, and we see blessing in sight of our living in sin. My friend, God don't bless mess. Hey, glory to God. Number six reason, we summon Jesus Christ like a genie in a bottle. Just rub him or praise him, and, and that's another lie. Because the Bible is saying in, in Psalms 84, no good thing with, with, hope, with he that walk rightly before him. No good thing. God don't bless mess. You hear me? God does not bless mess. Hey, glory to God, because God is a holy God. Hey, glory to God, a pimp. Hey, glory to God. If we imagine up our life by saying that things make us blessing, that's a lie. Because a pimp got a car, the pimp got a house, the pimp got clothes, but a pimp don't have the glory of God. So we can't match up our life with material things. We got to measure our life by walking right before God. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's, so, so God is not a genie. We don't, we don't rub a genie, rub a bottle, and say, say, Jesus, come, 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 Jesus. No, Jesus, God is not a genie. He's God. Hey, glory to God. And number seven reason, hey, glory to God. We, 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 we think God does not see our sin, but sin will find us out. With STD or pregnancy or baby or AIDS. Our sin will find us out. How does sin find us out? By you catching STD. By you getting pregnant. By you having AIDS. And by you dying. Your sin will find you out. You can't escape sin. The only thing I do is stay away from sin. And hey, glory to God. So your sin will find us out. Hey, glory to God. Don't, don't think that God doesn't see our sin. 
And my eighth reason, we as pastor, we live in worse than the sheep. Hey, glory to God. We ought not to be living worse than the sheep. Amen. We ought not to be smoking and drinking and sexing and whoring and chasing women and chasing men. We ought to be different. God dwell in a in a in an unclean temple, but God stays in our temple because our temple is clean. If you keep on cussing, God ain't gonna stay in the temple. You gotta decide, glory to God, because between the holy and the holy. It's time for you to decide whose side are you on? Are you on sin? Or salvation? Are you on secularism or you on Satan? Are you on a savior? Glory to God, which is Jesus Christ. It's time for you to decide whose side are you on. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. So, so we can't, we can't, as being pastors, hallelujah, we can't live worse than the sheep. The sheep looking at us because we are the lead, the shepherd. Hey, because Jesus Christ is the great shepherd. Hey, glory to God, that take care of the sheep. There's two kinds of shepherds. They got a hurling and the shepherd. And the good shepherd take care of the sheep. The hurling see the wolf come and he flee because he's a hurling. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Number nine reason, pastors are sleeping and sexing with the sheep and the goats. That's why we can't preach on sin. We sexing the members. We having sex with the ladies. You can't do that. That's why you can't preach on sin. Hey, glory to God. But you ought to be clean. You ought to walk rightly before God. Hey, glory to God. If you can't contain yourself, the Bible says get married. Hey, glory to God. Number 10th reason, we are not separated and saturated from pollution of sin. That's why it's not the topic preached on the sacred death. Hey, glory to God. Can you see the picture? While sin is silent in our churches, hallelujah, we are separated and saturated from the pollution of sin. Hey, glory to God. You got so many homosexual preachers and pastors in the church. You got so many adulterous pastors that's still pe pastoring, and you have, you have five wives or six wives. Come on. We got to be example for the sheep. The sheep follow us. We want to lead them into pasture. Hey, glory to God. But if you are adulterous, how can you lead a person just got married? If you're adulterous, how can you give advice to a person that's struggling to be married? Hey, glory to God. So I'm telling people why sin is not, is silent and we are dying of malnutrition in the house of God. Because of the pastors that are living worse than you are living as being a sheep. Hallelujah. If you find yourself in this situation, what you ought to do, I'm tell you what you ought to do. You ought to leave that church and find your church that preaching the undulterated gospel of Jesus Christ. And the pastor is walking rightly before God. Paul was never named among them. We got to be above approach. Hey, glory to God. We can't live like the world. Hey, we can't dress like the world. We can't be cussing like the world. We got to be different. Hey, glory to God. We got to be different people of God. Hey, glory to God. We ought to be running with people that's in the world. Because we are different. God called us to a higher heights and deeper depths. We are different from the world. Hey, we don't play the lottery. Hey, we don't go to Charlestown. We don't go, go to Las Vegas. We don't go to strip clubs. We don't go to the bar. We don't go to clubs. We don't go to banqueting. Hey, glory to God. We don't listen to Luther or, or, or Michael Jackson or, or all those kind of songs, my friend. Nicka Nimaj and, and, and all Shade. No, we listen to gospel. We listen to word that can let our soul hunger for the word of God. Hey, glory to God. So why sin is not preached in our, and the sheep is malnutrition because a pastor is living like the sheep? Hey, glory to God. Amen. I'm still waiting for you.
do you all that need to go to God, subscribe to this channel, and I will give you a fresh revelation, fresh message, Lord to God, to tell you that God loves you, and God wants you to be in his kingdom with you. So I thank you, I thank you, I thank you for your subscription. Until then, may God bless you richly. This is Life Journey Glory Church. If you need to talk to me, you can email me at lifejourneyglorychurch.com church at gmail.com until then may god bless you father god bless this person right now oh god i'm going through a situation in life right now they are malnutrition they need to hear the word of god bless them plant them into a church that preaching the word of god oh god let them find a church where a pastor is preaching the word reaching the word and they are different from the word from the world oh god bless this person right now Jesus, i pray Amen.